you see guys every script on this screen is optimized for performance and not for recording again we are the only software that let you record historical level 2 data for the sake of making analysis and reuse it because like on any other like bookmap whatever software if you just added something or you um, refresh the chart the all historical data like this one will disappear will disappear over here okay? and it's really nasty because you're gonna get a fresh data that just is starting and you're like you're not gonna able to see what happens in the past what happens in the past over here this is one second this is 30 seconds right in my case if I use another workspace by the way right now it's not turn it on that's why I will lose the data as soon as I'm going to go to another screen or refresh any of these charts. But the way to save it, you will never lose the data if each of, like this book map is, let's say, this book map, where, where, where is the indicator? Okay, here we go. Okay, this book map is a heat map, okay, and there is a, you see, it's not writing into the file. Okay, that's why I'm going to lose the data. But I have another workspace. And let me switch it to another workspace that I'm... Okay, where is my other workspace? Okay, you see, this is my workspace that I call trade, okay? And I have write. This is a workspace for writing. Let's see what's go what you're going to see. I mean, all you see is... Um, this is writing ES on a what what time frame it is? It is actually one second for ES. I just am writing it for some of you guys. One second, 30 seconds, and for ES, five minutes. And usually I keep the same indicator um, name, like ES, on the same window, on the same tabs. But the other ticker, like this one, is NQ. This is NQ. 30 seconds and I have NQ one second and I have NQ 30 seconds and I have a five minutes and I have a 30 seconds. But this one is it's a past dome for a pack level two. Now you don't see anything on this chart because the, it's not necessarily to have anything. Let, let me go and by the way, I have these templates available for you to download. So let me go and open book map. Okay, indicator book map. Okay. Now, you see there's a heat map. So heat map is, you see, now it's recording over here. But nothing else, only writing is on. I keep it for 30 days and um, a heat map itself is not enabled. So there's a no rendering power from my CPU used to render all that. So it's stripped for like every single function, like filter. I don't show the filters over here. Dome, I don't need to show the dome over here. Okay, so it's strip it, um, and for the sake of just recording the data, write this data, write it is recording this data into the file. And by the way, you don't want to have a double recording when you're recording on the trading workspace and on the writing workspace. You don't want to have the double to record the same time frame on the same ticker. Remember that because it's going to record double information for you and it's going to slow. Just remember, it's better to remember, by the way, where are you writing? I'm writing only on the workspace, only for writing for me. Okay? And I'm not recording on the trading because I'm doing that on a one workspace. I'm only recording and I'm trading on another workspace. Trading workspace works faster for me when it's actually active. So if you want to download this template, ask me or go and download. It's called like writing templates and check it with the data. You see the ticker play is not active on any of these charts. No need for, for it. Just no need. Okay. And they still load. I should just put like one. It's going to be much faster. And it's not, it's, it, uh, when, when I'm going to load this workspace, it's going to load the workspace faster when I have the 
they still load. I can put even zero, or like okay, or one, okay. So that's how these templates are optimized. Optimized only for the sake to record the historically historical level two data. Let me go and switch again back to my trading. So you see this writing, and this is trading. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to trading. Um, I supposed to lose this information, right? Like usually, but now it's recorded. And I'm not going to lose this data level two if I install the indicator or update it or as or I click like refresh the um, reload the NISA script. I'm not going to lose this information. But now it starts recording. So. So I'm trading on this workspace that is dedicated and optimized for performance. And another workspace optimized for. Writing level two data. And why I'm doing it? Because I want to sometimes make a lessons for you or tutorials. So I need that data. If you don't need it, there's no reason for you to record it. So just remember, you have a goal in, in, uh, in place and you need to remember not to overlap recording the same time frame, same ticker uh, on a both workspaces. Okay, and especially be uh, very careful when you have something like, uh, let me show it to you what be careful with and don't play. I'm going to do heat map. You see, refresh delay. So remember not to add extra refreshing unless you really needed to. Keep it like blank. Keep it unchecked. And you need to know when you're using refreshment. Okay, because refreshing, it adds a load or task on the CPU. And the CPU will load your chart. Because right now there's like... The charts are refreshing a few times a second. While for us, it, it looks very smooth and we don't see it. And by the way, it's not refreshing pixels. It's refreshing every single detail. You see, I filter out on this screen a lot of level two because I don't need it. And now because it's kind of hidden with a, you see this heat map, I hide it volumes that is less than 20 and running less than 11 bars.